Welcome to AstroVenture, the DSLR Astrophotography Channel. Hey there, AstroVentures, welcome back. If you're new to this Astrophotography channel, my name is George and this is the Astrophotography channel for DSLR in mirrorless camera bodies combined with the lenses we already own and a simple star tracker like the Skyguider Pro or the Star Adventure. Today I want to talk about a disaster I had on my last weekend of, out, of going out and shooting. And uh, what happened was is my 12 volt connector failed me the wire casing where it goes into the actual 12 volt plug, it breaks the casing of the wires. The insulation will crack and break right there where it goes into the plug. Reason being is the wires out here, whenever they bend and flex, it's always a soft bend unless you physically crush it. But where they go into the actual plug, that is always going to be a hard bend any time that they flex. And that's why they crack and break right there. Now, this last weekend, I was set up with a rather expensive go-to mount that I was uh, playing around with. Had dew heaters, I had my ASI Air Pro going, I had all of my higher-end equipment that I also own all connected. And one of these cracked, it arced, and thankfully, uh, throughout the electrical system, it blew a number of fuses which saved my equipment, but once again, it was these darn wires cracking and breaking. And I know there's people that are just going to say, well, that's why you got to be you know, careful with your wires. And yeah, I get that. We all are. But the thing is, is that these things are manufactured cheaply, and usually, you know, you can get them for under five bucks, and they break. And it's also a natural inherent design issue because that is the hard point. That's where the break's going to happen. So, being thankful that one, the fuses did blow, saved my equipment, I wanted a more permanent fix, a more permanent solution. I started doing some exploring and I came upon this 12 volt male connector. And this one is from JTRON, and I have no affiliation or connection, and I will include the link below on where you can locate these. But the beauty of this plug is that it separates the wires, as you can see here in the drawing. Now, again, out here, the wires will flex. The hard point, the hard flex of the wires, still occurs up here, but because of the separation, you don't end up with the arcing across. Now, this JTRON, it's a hefty little piece, and it's a little bit pricey. Uh, this here was 18 and change at the time of filming, but, you know, I've got all my equipment and stuff, and it's time to look at where can I make things better, where can I make things safer, and investing in better equipment where I don't have to risk short-circuiting something and damaging a really expensive piece for a $18 and change piece, I think it's a smart investment. So there you have it. Um, take a look at your equipment. I would also, any of these plugs that you have, check those wires. That's the number one place that they split because I don't want anybody damaging their equipment. So there you have it. If you like what we're doing here, we would love to see you over at our Facebook group, AstroVenture DSLR, where there's a lot of cool people and we would love to hear from you. And if you like the video and the content and what we're doing and the educational information here at AstroVenture, Consider liking this video, subscribing, and, and share it out. Help us grow the channel. Until next time, I wish you clear skies and uneventful nights.